<laughs> well, we're here, we're doing it. It's January 3rd, and you know what that means? You've all stopped going to the gym. <laughs> but did everyone have a great time ringing in 2017? <laughs> you have a good one. You have a drink? Did you have a drink on New Year's Eve? You had a drink? I know one person who had a drink on New Year's Eve. That was CNN correspondent Don Lemon. <laughs> If you were watching CNN's New Year's Eve coverage, you probably noticed Don Lemon having the time of his life. You gotta do it now. Cheers. This is way too early to start this. This is way too early to start this. The thing is, I need a little bit more balance in work life. I may be open to a relationship this year. Here we go. Here's the needle. Oh! Here's the needle. Drunk ear piercing on live television. <laughs> this is the most unprofessional thing I've ever seen. And bear in mind, one time on this show, I ate a bull penis. <laughs> when she saw this, even Mariah Carey was like, yeesh, she's making a fool out of himself. <laughs> but it's 2017, it's a whole new year, but some things still remain the same. Donald Trump has been tweeting up a storm. Yesterday, he tweeted at North Korea after that nation announced plans to test an intercontinental nuclear weapon. Donald Trump got on Twitter to say it won't happen, right? And I, honestly, I'd like to believe he's right. I would, but it won't happen is exactly what everyone said about Trump becoming president. <laughs> Expert. I'm no expert. I'm pretty sure you can't stop a nuclear, a nuclear missile by tweeting at it. <laughs> Show me. Retweet. <laughs> Retweet. Why isn't this working? Huh? <laughs> now, that's not even the weirdest Trump Twitter story this week. Now, Donald Trump only follows 42 people on Twitter, right? It's mostly politicians and news outlets, but on Sunday, somebody noticed that he was following the Twitter account Emergency Kittens. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> which describes itself as being dedicated to critiquing the cutest cats online. <laughs> Apparently, Donald Trump is looking at photos of kittens in order to feel better about Donald Trump winning the presidency. <laughs> like, he's like... I even stress me out. <laughs> now, this was noticed on Sunday night, but get this, by Monday morning, he had already unfollowed emergency kittens. Yeah, I guess he realised he couldn't grab any of those pussies. <laughs> The biggest story on Twitter is the bizarre tweet that Trump sent out on New Year's Eve. I mean, talk about festive. He tweeted, Happy New Year to all, including to my many enemies and those who have fought me and lost so badly they just don't know what to do. Love. <laughs> enemies. The only people who admit to having enemies are Donald Trump and eighth grade girls. <laughs> Uh, he yells at his enemies and then ends the tweet with the word love. That's like getting a letter from your landlord that says, I'm increasing the cost of your rent. Generosity. <laughs> it's, <laughs> but it's pretty... Oh, come on. It's not... Uh... It's pretty ridiculous for the president-elect to tweet Happy New Year to all his enemies, but it was definitely easier than sending individual tweets to Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, Alec Baldwin, Democrats, Republicans, Vanity Fair, most people who voted, war heroes, every journalist, every Muslim, China, Mexico, Canada, NATO, <laughs> spelling, math, logic, the cast of Hamilton, <laughs> that baby he kicked out of his rally, and, of course, his biggest enemy of all, the wind. <laughs> 